Her eyes be love potions, and as for my heart, I let her have the full potion. See, I went around looking for relationship advice and they told me to listen to my heart, so I did. But all I could hear my heart singing was do, 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 do. Do 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 do. I guess we all know how that story ended. So I ended up in the arms of Odudu, a yellow bone slay queen, beauty of a woman. She came out of the blue as if she had been birthed by an avatar. Sun kissed, she spoke light, and I was blinded by her beauty until I made her my guide. Head of the family, I was decapitated. Priest of the home, I was excommunicated. She became the channel of authority, dug away to my mind through my belly. She now changes channels on the telly, and I sit there, agreeing as a helper. I am a Jacob, laying my head on a rock, because ever since I met her, I found it hard to sleep. I am a Jacob, looking up to my Rachel as she stands tall on a stolen god. She is my idol, the Barbie of my affections. It's never my intention, but I always let her have her way. Even obey every word she says. In this temple, she is enthroned, steering the wheel of my heart, driving me into my depression. She is my Delilah, enticing me to lay on her thighs, she says, Lila. Falling into the bottomless pit, I struggle to come to grip with my reality. Her soothing embrace has me dumbfounded. The comfort of her arms has me cozy in this relationship. But something in me she cannot fulfill, though she has me handcuffed to the scented frills of her frocks. Something in me she cannot put to rest. She has me spellbound with the last filled eyes. Like the Medusa, her venomous stains leave love bites that cause my heart to be stone, cold, and frozen. But I remember I had beheld something better. I remember that the Son of God can throw my state back to life. For I turned to his gospel and he tread, son of my soul, O oh, Savior dearest. So I was trying to make him my own, but she failed to make me whole. Besides the hole in my pocket, she left a canyon in my soul. So I told myself I'm leaving her. Even had to sit down with myself, intervention and sharp words I lay on the table. But when she walked into the room, red lips, red dress, her figure spelled danger and I knew I was a goner. I mean, my heart chose out of there, but my feet froze numb. Zombified, I began uttering a prayer. Lord, please. My lips stumbled drunk on infatuation, for her figure left me seeing stars, for she claimed that she was born from the stars. In other words, she was stubborn. A stain so intertwined with the hem of my garment. I tried so hard to wash her off with vanish, but all I got was a new sunlight with her in my bed. Lord, please, my lips sang song of please. Until Jesus Christ reminded me, nothing but the blood could wash me clean of my Delilah. Oh,